Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing part two of my video. I just videoed this look and I will put the link down below for the look details uh, if you want to watch that video as well. But in this video I'm going to do review for my Jaclyn Hill palette. I know it's a little bit too late, however there are people out there like me who are still contemplating if they should buy this palette or not. And so this review is for those people. I waited for this palette for more than a year. I have been thinking about it too much to if I should buy this palette because I live in New Zealand and in New Zealand everything is super expensive when it comes to buying makeup especially from overseas so I have been wanting to buy this palette for a very long time but every time I would go into the website to buy it it will be out of stock uh, mind you there are no New Zealand websites that I know of that has this palette I know there is a website who carries a Morphe products however they don't do Jaclyn Hill palette they don't have this palette so I had to buy from Beauty Bay I believe that's um, a UK website or I will put down the the link if you do wish to purchase this palette or any other beauty product from that website but I bought it from Beauty Bay it took about seven to ten days it was just a standard shipping no tracking number so I had to just pray that my palette turns up um, in a nice condition and actually turns up because I had no way to track the product uh, saying that Beauty Bay did deliver this within seven to ten days like they said and it was really well packed everything was intact no shadows were broken nothing like that so that's something positive that I liked about Beauty Bay on saying that I do have some pros and I do have some cons about this product which you can listen to and decide if you still haven't bought the Jaclyn Hill palette if you still want to buy it I would start with the pro because I do like this palette. Pro is that it's a really pretty palette. As you can see, it has really good selection of colors from very daytime colors to a very nighttime colors as you can see the bottom and even this row right here. And also it has some really cool colors around here that you can use for a very intense look. Um, could be nighttime look or can be just you want to play with colors like I love playing with colors. But this palette seemed so pretty to me, especially these colors right here. You don't see them in a lot of palettes, especially if the palette is carrying like a theme like nudes or browns and things like that. So it's very hard to see a palette with a mixture of colors. So that's why I do think it's a pro that this palette comes with so many different colors, matte plus shimmers. So that's really, really cool with these intense colors right here that you can play with if you wish to. The second good thing I like about this palette is the texture of the eyeshadows. I wasn't really impressed with the matte, but the shimmers and the darker colors right here are very, very intense. These colors are quite pigmented, actually on a brown skin or a darker skin color like mine, it's very hard to show colors. So these colors do show up and they look quite nice. The amount of colors you get, you get a lot of options. It's really, really good, especially if you're traveling. You don't want to carry too many things. So this palette has everything that you need to create different looks during the day or at night, like I said before. So saying that, there are some um, cons for this palette. Some of them I've already mentioned in my pro list, which I shouldn't have, but I couldn't have said that without saying the cons as well. So the first negative that is associated with this palette is the price. I paid about $71 New Zealand as it does come from overseas to New Zealand and could be customs or shipping itself make the product really really expensive I bought more than one product um, from the website that's why the shipping was free however if you're buying just this product or one thing from the um, website 
you will be paying shipping. So I bought this palette from Beauty Bay. If you live in England, um, US or Canada, it's easier for you to get this palette because it's available in your Sephora or even Morphe website or even I believe Ulta does it now. However, living in New Zealand, getting this palette is super, super hard and expensive. I paid $71 as I mentioned before, plus shipping if you only buy this palette and that's expensive. And shipping can be from $10 New Zealand to $20, $30, which is half the price of this palette. And is it worth it? Depends on your situation. If you think you can afford it, if that's okay for you, then go for it. For me, it was, I had to think twice. And because my husband was giving me as a present, I went for it. The second negative that I feel like, it's not a huge deal, but I think if I'm paying that much money, it should be very amazing looking. So seeing the package, it's very plain. It's cardboard and it feels cheap. It doesn't feel very expensive. Uh, it is slightly better than the original Morphe palette, the black ones that you get, because it's just a plastic, cheap looking plastic with Morphe on it. This one is a little bit more prettier, but not as luxurious as you would want it to be for paying almost $80 for this palette. And because it's matte, it's already gotten dirty. As you can see here, it's dirty. I try to clean it, but it's very hard to clean. So you gotta make sure that you use this palette very carefully if you don't want it to look dirty and tacky and disgusting. I can't be bothered paying too much attention to keep it clean. When I use products, I just wanna use them. I don't wanna think twice while I use them if it's getting dirty or not. And usually I would clean it afterwards with wet wipes or wet cloth, but this one you can't because it's cardboard. The water gets absorbed and it leaves marks. So that's one of the things I did not find really pleasing. Another thing that was a big deal for me was the color chart. When I bought this, I expected a color chart with the names of the colors and it did not have one. I did hear the new packaging is coming out with the colors at the back. Um, I don't think so. Beauty Bay has the new packaging with them. So obviously I didn't get the color chart. It's not a huge deal because you can just print one with the names you just google them and you can print one however it's unnecessary especially when the packaging can come with the colors um, especially when you pay so much money for it so that was a big no-no for me um, it's not a huge huge deal but it's a huge deal Another thing that I noticed that was as a no-no for me was that this pal- you, If you watch my video, you will know what I mean. I tried to use these transition colors right here. I don't know if they don't show because of my skin color because my skin is quite close to the color that I was using on my eyelids. But I had to really use it to show it. It did not show. All the other darker colors showed up. They were a little bit hard to work with, but they showed on my eyelids. But the lighter brown colors, I really had to develop them. And I like it that you have to develop it so it shows, but I really had to develop it to show. So that's something that I found not so nice but other than that i do like the color combo in the palette i feel like they're very warm colors so they really look nice on my skin tone because i am yellow and also that jacqueline put these um intense colors right here i find them quite cool that i can play with so that's something that i really really did enjoy so yeah these were my thoughts on jacqueline hill's x morphe palette i will write down the details in my description box if you do wish to purchase this palette do write a comment down below to say if you guys have used this palette and what are your thoughts like this video if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos have a great day be positive and i will see you guys later in my next video bye